Good evening, it's 8 o'clock. The top headlines tonight. Well, the new flashpoint with farmers is Saturday. Farmers threaten to block key national highways. Meanwhile, in Delhi, borders barricaded where farmers are protesting. The police chief says we have no choice. Why were there no questions raised when policemen were attacked? Meanwhile, in Parliament, it's government versus the opposition. MPs storm well, disruptions, adjournments in both houses over the timing of a debate on the farm laws. It's not the way. India's COVID miracle continues. Numbers continue to drop. Lowest cases and deaths in over eight months today. Meanwhile, a Delhi Zero survey shows nearly one crore, that's nearly 50% of Delhi, already have antibodies. Russia's vaccine Sputnik V is 91.6% effective after phase three trials, uh, trials as Lancet. Sputnik phase three trials efficacy at over 91% are better than AstraZeneca. Sputnik V currently in a tie-up with India's Dr. Reddy's lab say they will apply for permission by March in India. Made in India, the Tejas fighter aircraft to double production as Indian Air Force has doubled its order to 83 planes. The Defence Minister inaugurating the new facility today says it's a historical deal. CBSC Class 10 and 12 exams date sheets out. Physical exams will be given. The results on July the 15th. Some Class 12 exams will be held in two shifts. Markets continue to rise after the budget. They crossed 50,000 today in intraday trading. The Supreme Court orders uh, Franklin Templeton to pay investors 9,122 crores within 20 days. Franklin Templeton had unilaterally shut six of its debt schemes down. Bail must be the rule, jail the exception. A Delhi court gives bail to freelance journalist Mandeep Punya. And NDTV 24-7 tops budget day viewing. It's number one on YouTube of all English news channels. A very, very nice. Welcome to the 8 o'clock news, the latest on the flashpoint between the government, police and farmers. Today, farmers unions call for a nationwide chakka jam on February the 6th, that Saturday. Farmers unions said there will be no talks to the government till they release what they say are innocent protesters arrested. Parliament was adjourned repeatedly today over the farmer protests and the questioning of when they could debate farm laws. Meanwhile, farmer leader Rakesh Tikayat said there would be no ghar wapsi till this kanun wapsi threatening to sit here till October. Three Delhi entry roads, meanwhile, today were further fortified. Just look at these pictures from the different borders, the Delhi-UP border, the Delhi-Haryana border. Uh, there, as we can see, Singhu, Ghazipur and Tikri completely fortified. But the Delhi police chief who inspected uh, there today said that this is needed. They said they don't want to see a repeat of the 26th uh, violence saying that the police had no choice but to put these barricades. Barbed wires, spikes on highways and concrete blocks. The several layers of fortification for the capital at the entry from UP at Ghazipur. अब हम जंगल और खाई क्रॉस करके गाजियाबाद पहुंच चुके हैं और गाजियाबाद में ये आप देखिए ये फेंसिंग लगा गई है पहले इसको आप भारत पाकिस्तान भारत बांग्लादेश जैसे देशों के बॉर्डर पर लगी देखते थे अब ये दिल्ली गाजियाबाद के बॉर्डर पर इस तरीके के कटीले तारों की जो फेंसिंग है उसको लगा दिया गया है ताकि कोई भी पैदल भी Farmers say it is insulting to be treated like the enemy. We have told the to that to but the Delhi police says these measures are justified. मुझे ताजुब है कि जब 26 तारीख को जिस प्रकार से 
जो ट्रैक्टर्स का इस्तेमाल किया गया था सभी पुलिसकर्मी पे चढ़ा करके बैरिकेड को तोड़ करके सब कुछ किया गया तो आप उस समय आपने कोई सवाल नहीं पूछा हमने क्या किया है हमने उस बैरिकेड को मजबूत किया है ताकि बारंबार उस, उसको तोड़ा ना जाए मीन वाइल शिवसेना लीडर संजय राउत मेट फार्मर लीडर राकेश दिकायत एट गाजीपुर एंड इज बीन क्रिटिसाइज फॉर नॉट मीटिंग द प्रोटेस्टिंग फार्मर्स इन मुंबई मैंने राकेश जी को उद्धव ठाकरे साहब का संदेश दिया है पूरे तन मन धन से हम उनके साथ हैं आफ्टर नेम कॉलिंग एंड वेलिफिकेशन द फार्मर्स नाउ फेस बाब वायर्स बैरिकेड्स एंड स्पाइक्स एट द प्रोटेस्ट साइट एंड फ्रॉम द लुक्स ऑफ इट इट सीम्स that defensive and not dialogue has become the priority of the government to resolve this impasse at gazipur with camera person ashok mahale am akshay dongre for ndtv the wall between the government and farmers gets higher yesterday they poured concrete today they are raising it further keeping protesting farmers out of delhi beyond this a second line of defense dumpers and trailers being connected with rods to ensure tractors don't push through no breakthrough on the 69th day of farmers protests and the distance between the two sides grows tin din ho gaye mara pehla khadai kiti gi jcb na baad de vich dwar kaddi gayi hai sargya pa ke ये जो बाडर रहा है ये पहला भी साडा इतिहास है जी जो भी दिल्ली में कि फतेह पाई है ना खालसे ने यह बाडर का नाम है सिंगू तो खालसा इतने ही आ पड़ा करता रहा वा यो इतनी बड़ी बड़ी दीवारें लगा रहे हैं चीन और पाकिस्तान का बॉर्डर है क्या हम लोग क्या इस देश के निवासी नहीं है बच्चे घुसाए हुए चले गए तो पुलिस तो वहाँ क्यों रखते हैं पुलिस को मीडिया व्हीकल्स टू कैप्ट आउट अबाउट फोर किलोमीटर फ्रॉम द वॉल To report stories from inside one has to make his or her way through these farms to get to the protest site. Ye har jagah se band kar rahe hain hamare ko khane ki har cheez ki ye problem aa rahi hai abhi pani nahi aane de rahe. There is a wall of a different kind too. These farmers are still cut off from the rest of the country. Internet to these protest sites is still suspended. With camera person Sushil Rathi, Arun Singh for NDTV. And after Bharatiya Kisan Union leader Ra- Rakesh Tikayat broke down last week, hordes of more farmers from Haryana, Western Uttar Pradesh have come to join him. Our reporter Mohammad Ghazali is travelling with these farmers as they dodge barricades to try and get to where Rakesh Tikayat is. Tomorrow, in fact, Rakesh Tikayat will be in Jeend in Haryana for the first time for a Mahapanchayat. Ghazali reports on his journey. People have started gathering here in Kurukshetra. Maha Panchayat has been called and one of the most unique ones as far as the Maha Panchayats in Haryana. This has been called by young students from Kurukshetra University. The Maha Panchayat was one of the main goals of the Kisan Sanctan to give more and more and more. And our Andolan is going to be there for two months. How can we give more and more? After all, we will take care of each other. 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 जो हमारे भाई बैठे हुए हैं उनके पास रोटेशन वाइज हमने कैसे पहुंचना है उनके पास क्या क्या सुविधाएं हमने पहुंचानी है प्लीज सपोर्ट अस सपोर्ट द फार्मर्स दो आर फीडिंग यू नो फार्मर्स नो फूड थैंक यू आफ्टर राकेश टिकैट्स वीडियो वेंट वायरल व्हाट वी सॉ इन हरियाणा इट सॉ इन अपसर्ज इन द एजुटेशन फार्म एजुटेशन दो अर्लियर पीपल वर गोइंग टू टूअर्ड सिंगो एंड टिकरी बॉर्डर बट दैट वायरल वीडियो एज वी स्पोक टू दिस फार्मर्स इन पाई विलेज ऑफ कैथल डिस्ट्रिक्ट that video certainly triggered a lot of reaction and overnight people from haryana started moving towards singhu tikri and ghaziabad border abhi jo ek hua uske baad kisan bhavnatmak roop se jud gaya hai 36 biradri ikatthi ho gayi hai aur pure andolan ke andar pehle se bhi zyada badh chadh ke bhag le rahi hai kisan andolan ke gaye jale aa rahe hain ab 200 rupaye kilo हमने एक महापंचायत बुलाई उस महापंचायत वो हम महापंचायत थी जो छत्तीस बिरादरी की महापंचायत थी हमारी जिसमें हमारा सभी गांव के लोगों ने सभी बिरादरियों ने समर्थन किया और कलेक्शन करी हमारा आठ दस क्विंटल तो डेली दूध जाता है जैसे हमने गांव में पंद्रह बीस पॉइंट बना रखे हैं तो वहाँ हम दूध हमारे जो कार्यकर्ता है हमारे किसान यूनियन के साथी हैं जो 
तो वहाँ से इकट्ठा करते हैं जैसे पंद्रह बीस ड्राम हमने रख रखे हैं तो वहाँ सारे ट्रैक्टर के द्वारा हम इकट्ठा करके वो फिर गाड़ियाँ बेच दी जाती है We have reached here in Kandela village. This Kandela village falls in Jeen district, and this was the first village which responded overnight when the teary-eyed video of Rakesh Tikat went viral. Youths came on the streets here, and I can show you even right now we have a permanent morcha or a permanent sit-in protest here, where farmers are sitting since the farm laws or the agitation against the farm laws escalated in Haryana and Punjab. Yeah, Kandela khap mein. लोगों के एकदम कम से कम भी हजारों आदमी मेरे मकान के पास आए प्रधान जी भाई यहाँ पर राकेश टिकेत का इस तरह फिर सारा गांव जितना यहाँ युवा थे कंडेला खाप के सभी युवा यहाँ चंडीगढ़ हाईवे पर रोड को रोड को बंद कर दिया और रातों रात वहाँ गाजीपुर बॉर्डर पर सैकड़ों गाड़ी लेकर कंडेला खाप के पहुँच गए हम वहाँ पर जाके आए लगातार वहाँ पे शुरू वाले दिन से ही बने हुए हैं तो वहाँ पे हमें हमें ही पता जाने वालों को वहाँ पे लाइट काट दी गई है और ना पानी की व्यवस्था सरकार की तरफ से वो गांव वाले व्यवस्था दे रहे पानी की व्यवस्था भी गांवों से जा रहा है वहाँ पे सरकार ने तो बिजली तक काट दी गई और इंटरनेट सुविधा सुविधा बंद कर दी गई फार्मीपुर बॉर्डर फ्रॉम कंडेला विलेज इन इन जीन मोहम्मद गजाली फॉर इंडी टीवी and today in parliament farm laws and uh, possible debate net was the major reason for a huge ruckus both in the rajya sabha and the lok sabha which of course is functioning two different shifts while the government says it's ready for a debate the opposition says why hasn't timing been fixed also they don't want it to be part of a, of a thank you on the president's address but they want a separate debate on farm laws and are pushing for an immediate repeal till this is debated by a parliamentary committee सदस्य अगर किसानों के बारे में चर्चा करने के लिए तैयार हैं, तो सरकार सदन के भीतर भी और सदन के बाहर भी हमेशा चर्चा के लिए तैयार रही है आज भी प्रश्न काल में बड़ी संख्या में प्रश्न कृषि और कृषि कल्याण से संबंधित थे सारे जो बिजनेस अब रख रहे हैं इसके पहले शुरुआत तो कीजिए ये किसान आंदोलन की मुद्दे के ऊपर चर्चा शुरू कीजिए बाकी सारे प्रेसिडेंट से बाद में हो सकता लेकिन सर किसान किसान की जो मुद्दा है सर आज किसान के ऊपर जिस ढंग से अत्याचार हो रहे हैं लगता है कि आप ब्रिटिश जमाने में पहुंच गए हैं चलिए ब्रिटिश जमाने में महसूस हो रहे हैं Well moving to the other big headline tonight India's covid success story continues numbers are continuing to drop and today we have the lowest cases and deaths in over 8 months also a delhi zero survey shows that nearly 50% of delhi's population that is nearly 1 crore people have antibodies now remember the official numbers in delhi were only of over 6 lakh people being affected but the zero survey shows that up to 1 crore people could have had covid Till recently this was one of the busiest covid hospitals in delhi and india's biggest covid hospital with 2000 beds dedicated for it now it's a reflection on how the number of cases not just in delhi but in most parts of india are manageable abhi hamare paas jo naye cases hain covid ke wo bahut kam aa rahe hain mushkil se ek ya do patient 24 ghante mein admit hota hai पहले हमारे पास ये इंडोर एडमिशन की संख्या 30 से 40 थी और दिवाली के आसपास तो बहुत ज्यादा थी इंडिया हैज नाउ रिपोर्टेड द लोएस्ट नंबर ऑफ डेली केसेस अबाउट 8600 इन 8 मंथ्स इन फैक्ट एट अराउंड 12 टू 13000 द एवरेज डेली न्यू केसेस आर डाउन बाय ऑलमोस्ट अ थर्ड इन द लास्ट 5 वीक्स दिल्ली वन ऑफ द फ्यू स्टेट्स व्हिच सॉ मल्टीपल वेव्स ऑफ सर्जिंग केसेस seems to be according to the health minister headed towards herd immunity which is when a majority of the population becomes immune to a disease mujhe lagta hai sabhi ko abhi mask laga ke rakhna chahiye social distancing ka palan karna chahiye aur haath ko bar bar dhona chahiye jo bilkul aap jo keh rahe hain herd immunity ki taraf jo pehle kaha jata tha aap se 3 4 mahine keh rahe the 50% pe shayad hogi ya 60% pe hogi to uske aas paas hum bhar rahe hain at 56% Every second person in Delhi has been infected with COVID. This is what the fifth and largest sero survey conducted across the city during January has revealed. एक बात तो मान के चलिए अगर आप 56% को लोग हो गए तो 44% लोगों को आज भी इम्यूनिटी नहीं है तो एक्सपोज्ड है तो अगर आपको अगर बन भी गई है सबको तो प्रिकॉशन आज भी सबको तो नहीं रखने सबको मास्क पहनना है और सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग पे पेंडर करना है. Delhi's population is about 1.87 crore. 
so nearly 1 crore people were infected while the officially registered cases stand at 6.35 lakh. Highest prevalence has been found in Southeast District at 62% and the lowest in North District at 49%. Delhi has been seeing a constant decline in cases in the last week. Less than 200 cases are being reported daily and less than 10 deaths are being recorded every day. In New Delhi with camera person Azam Siddiqui, this is Sukirti Duvedi for NDTV. And more good news on vaccinations and good news for India too. Russia's vaccine Sputnik V has results released of its phase 3 trials in The Lancet which says, and these are peer reviewed, that it is 91.6% effective. Now that means it's the third most effective vaccine currently after the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines and this uses a well-known technology which has been used earlier unlike the other two and also it doesn't need freezing at such cold temperatures. Here's the latest when Saket spoke to the man who's spearheading this vaccine. Mr. Dimitriev, uh, just, just uh, for the benefit of our viewers, you are saying that your vaccine is going to apply for emergency use authorization to the drug controller in India either this month or next month. Is that how soon we can expect post-approval the vaccine to be available? Well, I think we will apply either this month or March. Dr. Reddy will determine this timing. Mm. And as soon as this approval is granted, we will be willing to start supplying of our vaccine to India. You know, this week, already 12 new countries started using Sputnik this week. And for 10 out of those 12 countries, it is the first vaccine that they have received. And going forward, we believe that vaccines with 90% efficacy will really be the vaccines for the people because if you have vaccine okay. with 90 percent efficacy why would you would use or who you would give vaccine with less of an efficacy so that's why we'll be working with vaccines who have efficacy of 60 percent and uh, lower efficacy sure. like this to help them increase efficacy to 90 percent as we have each and every government representative that we at ndtv have spoken to have said do not mix the vaccines if you've gone for Covaxin, then make sure the two jabs are from Covaxin. One from Covishield, the other also has to be from Covishield. Certificates are being issued. So naturally, uh, a question that is going to occur to the minds of everyone who's listening to you is this mixing of vaccine that you're talking about. Is it safe? The concern well, and we'll do clinical trials, but of course we believe it's similar technology. It's based on adenoviral vectors, and we believe that those technologies, uh, particularly the ones that we use based on human adenovirus, are very safe and has been proven to be safe over decades. And this is why we're also starting clinical trials jointly with AstraZeneca, and they have confirmed those, and we will start them as soon as next week. So that's great news there. He, uh, he, the CEO of that investment fund saying that they will apply for permission in India as soon as March. So possibly India to have a third vaccine soon. Meanwhile, in other news, lakhs of students in India's biggest school exams, the Central Board of Secondary Education, will be held in, uh, uh, in May and June. The date sheets were released today. There will be physical exams from May 4th to June the 11th for class 12. And they'll finish by June the 7th for class 10. Results will be out by July the 15th. They will be held in class 12 in two shifts as well. And of course, all precautions in place, including sanitization, because these will be the first physical exams after the pandemic. In other news, also starting in Bengaluru today was Aero India. Again, it's a hybrid model, but what was the big focus was the Defence Minister's inauguration of a new Tejas production plant because the IAF has doubled its orders of this indigenous fighter plane. So that was the big headline from there today. A new facility being inaugurated by India's Defence Minister to double production of India's indigenous fighter plane, LCA Tejas, from 8 to 16 planes a year. This is to meet the Indian Air Force's massive order of 83 off the planes. 48,000 crore ka order armed forces ki taraf se aapko ye mil gaya hai. Aur mein keh sakta hoon ki indigenous Defense procurement के इतिहास में यह सबसे बड़ा procurement है. Many public and private players are part of the massive project. It is estimated that it will lead to the generation of 5,000 primary jobs in the private sector. With this being the first time 
that Indian private players are partnering to manufacture aircraft fuselage and wings. It's, we are getting a huge order for 83 Mark 1A aircraft. Yes, yes. The order is a huge boost for HAL. It's very a uh, good opportunity to uh, have a big uh, deal for HAL. The Tejas Mark 1A, which will be built here, incorporates 40 key changes from the existing variant of the fighter. And its performance has been benchmarked against the upgraded Mirage 2000, till recently the most advanced fighter in the Indian Air Force service. The new plant will start by focusing on production of the trainer version of LCA Tejas. It's a mode of celebration here at this brand new plant that will help to double the manufacturing capability of the LCA Tejas from 8 to 16 aircraft a year. This is indeed a big day for all the staff of HAL. With this order of over 83 aircraft from the Indian Air Force, it will give a massive boost to defence manufacturing in the country, both government and private. With Govind Murthy, Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV. A quick look at other news. Budget day momentum continued for the second straight session with the PSE Sensex reclaiming the 50,000 mark in intraday trading. The NSE Nifty going back above 14,700 at the back of a record high in the Nifty Bank Index and a buying spree across sectors. The Sensex ended below the 50,000 mark, just below. However, it was higher by 1,197 points. The Nifty settled at 14,647.85. Meanwhile, some good news for investors in the scheme which Franklin Templeton has shut down. The Supreme Court today ordered Franklin Templeton to pay 9,122 crores to unit holders of the six shut funds run by Franklin Templeton, saying this money is cash ready with the group. The Supreme Court also directed SPI mutual funds to carry out the disbursement of the amount within 20 days, saying if there's any difficulty, the parties can approach, approach the Supreme Court again. Well, a Delhi court today gave bail to freelance journalist Mandeep Punya, who was arrested on Sunday from the Singhu border point between Delhi and Haryana on charges of disrupting police duties. The judge said the complainant, victims and witnesses in the case are all police personnel, so no possibility that the accused will be able to influence any of them. The, the judge also said that the alleged scuffle is of around 6.30 p.m., but the FIR is registered at around 1.21 a.m. on the next day. That the accused of the freelance journalist and not carrying a press card can't be grounds for a case of arrest, saying the accused is a well-respected member of the society being a journalist, including being a frequent contributor to the Caravan magazine. More importantly, the judge also said that bail is the rule and jail should be the exception. Hopefully that will apply in other cases as well, where people have been in jail for months waiting for bail. Here's what his wife had to say. कहना चाहूँगी खुश हूँ मैं बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है मुझे सेटिस्फेक्शन है कि वो जल्दी बाहर आई जाएंगे प्रोसीडिंग्स भी मतलब हालांकि पूरा प्रोसेस बहुत ही मतलब बहुत ही डिस्टॉर्टिंग था कि हर मोमेंट पे एक एम्बिगुइटी दिमाग में हर टाइम पता नहीं क्या होगा पता नहीं बेल में हाँ होगा बेल में ना होगा आई नेवर नो बट आई एम हैप्पी नाउ well, before we end this bulletin, the big news also that NDTV is once again number one. And these ratings can't be bought. And for our budget coverage yesterday, NDTV 24-7 was number one of all English news channels. And NDTV India was number two of all Hindi news channels. This is a time for a surprise in the budget. It's a budget of hope. This is budget 2021. A very, very landmark budget. There are lots of areas, you know, which are crying for attention. I present the budget for the year 2021. Has 20 she done enough? It focuses on building infrastructure. This budget has done a phenomenal amount of spending in the area of healthcare. Financial sector. A greater level of lending to MSMEs. that can't be bought. This is for real news.